let's look at how Starlink actually works. So it operates on satellite internet service tech and there are various aspects to it and the users are required a Starlink dish and a router. And this dish is positioned in a way that the closest Starlink satellite is connected to it. And there are about 7,000 different Starlink satellites across the world and almost all of them are activated as we speak. Now let's look at how fast this internet service provided by Starlink is. So a report suggests that the broadband speed associated with Starlink is comparable to 4G and in some cases even 5G. So the speed is pretty good there. And it's ideal for video conferencing and online gaming. So all the basic necessities will be fulfilled there. And fiber-based net services offer higher speed in urban areas. This is also one of the features associated with Starlink. But the main feature is that people living in rural areas, they would benefit from this Starlink service where fiber connectivity is quite lower. Now let's look at how it can benefit Indian users. For that, we have to look at the plan used by our neighbor, Bhutan. So Bhutan has two plans. The first one is residential light plan under which the net speed provided is up to about 100 Mbps, which costs about 3,000 rupees per month. And as I mentioned earlier, it is suitable for casual browsing and video streaming. There's another plan called standard residential plan, which, is, uh, which provides a net speed of up to 110 Mbps, and it costs about 4,200 approximately per month. And in this uh, scenario, we will be able to use gaming, SD streaming, and video conferencing. Now let's look at how this service will actually benefit Indians. So India's internet penetration stands at about 47% right now. About 700 million people are without any reliable internet services. So these people are you know, standing to benefit from stand Starlink service. Rural net connectivity is a major source for this, which will also change. And this is likely to boot net connectivity in remote areas as we've been talking about. So that is the major area of focus for uh, Starlink. And the speed provided here can go up to as much as 220 Mbps, which is as good as any 5G service.